What's up guys, I'm back once again with yet another video. Today I'll be doing a bit of an update of my electric bike battery building process I guess you can call it. I've received a package in the mail from eBay. I've ordered 15 laptop batteries, 9 cells in each, for roughly I think $200. So um, that has arrived, it only took a week to come from somewhere in Australia. I've just been mocking up the battery setup, still got to get more of these cell holders and all that kind of stuff. My little like range extender battery pack. And then I've got these um, cells I'm going to be adding onto the cells that I get from here. So um, without any ado, I just gotta like try and start opening it, I guess. Um, so there's no like no details in here about like no location or something. As you can see, we've got 15 of like individual packs. So it looks like they probably already pre-packaged these, and then they maybe. Like send them off and just like put a sticker on the front for the address. But I'm hoping there's going to be 15 here. If not, I'll just have to contact the seller. Maybe there's two parts to this um, shipment. But, um, uh, I think that's it. Anyway, um, so I don't think I've got them all. There might be two in each. I'm not exactly sure yet. Get out, of, get it out of its anti-static bag. And um, conveniently, we've actually got a voltage tester on it, so if I press that, yeah, it's pretty good. It's full charge, so it uh, looks like the, all the cells in this battery could be okay, since it's brand new, so I'm a high chance that they are fine. If we... So I, I have pried up the corner, so if we begin to peel it back, looks like we've got green cells in this one, so, I mean... It doesn't really matter on um, this the next ones could be like entirely different they could be yeah it's kind of interesting that they weren't all packaged in the um in the same like package i guess but um anyway so we've got um whoops got all these battery packs lined up i'm just testing the voltage on them by just pressing the button uh all of them so far have been full bars so it's kind of interesting that um the ones that I didn't test weren't full bars, but anyway, so most of them are full, some are two, um, but you really can't complain, I only paid about $16 each for these, which is pretty good, um, that's Australian dollars by the way, um, it was in my country so it came pretty quick, it's better than waiting for it to come from China, but um, anyway we'll just begin um, opening these packs up and uh, seeing the health of the cells, so um, let's just start doing that now. So I finally opened these battery packs up. It's pretty good. Um, the only problem is, is that on the outside it says 7800 milliamp hours, while on the batteries it says 1800 milliamp hours. And that does not equal that. Usually, since it's three in parallel, you divide that number by three, and that's what each cell would have. But it clearly indicates 1800 milliamp hours. So um, I'm not sure what's happening there, um, maybe I just got ripped off, I mean really, they're probably going to be, they say they're 1800, they'll probably end up being like 1600, which really isn't that bad, I calculated all my range um, according to like 1300 per cell, so it's, it's still pretty good, um, I got these pretty cheap anyway, and uh, sometimes uh, buying Chinese um, laptop batteries can be quite a gamble, so anyway I'm just going to continue um, opening the rest of the battery packs. So now it'll be quite interesting to see how accurate that like LED display is on the battery pack. So these ones here said they're full charge, so we'll just put this on the So apparently these are full bars on charge even though they're 3.66, 6, I think that is. I'll try the next one. 3.68 and 3.66 so or 67 I think it was 
But um, this also could be the one with two bars. We'll just check the other pack here. So I'll move that aside and put this one down. So we'll begin to measure. I'm not um, checking polarity really at all. Three point six six. Three point six six, I think there was. And three point six eight. So despite the battery reading on the um like the display on the battery pack, uh I think they're all gonna be round like three point six, which is not a bad voltage. Um it's a little low for being stored away for a period of time, but uh you can't really complain, they were kind of cheap and um yeah, so uh, I guess I'll continue with the long process of, you know, opening all the packs and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll see if we get any uh, different, like, colour cells. That'll be kind of interesting. So, yeah. So that pretty much concludes today's video. Um, so I have tested all the cells. They all are at over 3.6 volts. There were some exclusions where some were, like, 3.5. But the majority are all in a good voltage, so... Uh, stay tuned for the next part where I tear apart the remaining batteries and uh, start separating all the terminals and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching.